the day before the flights. We stopped in Reading at wife's favorite burger joint. There are flags from the 4th of July still along the I-5. Our hotel wasn't ready, so we hung out in Old Town Sacramento. It was a little bit crowded, a little bit trafficy, but the buildings were super cool, super old, lots of energy coming off of them. What a neat place to hang out. Hi, wife. Ah, uh, yes, the black and tans. We found a really cool iPub just in the middle of all the mess. It was hot outside. This place was cool, nice and shady, and the bartenders are sweet. We were surrounded by really cool old buildings with lots of little novelty shops, like the fortune teller shop and the sock shop and stuff like that. Super, super fun. We found this place, it's totally a hidden gem. So yeah, the hotel was awful. It was a sure stay, it was um, terrible, uh, so I wouldn't recommend it and did not get any clips of it. So we're going to jump to the second flight because the first flight took off super early in the morning from uh, Sacramento. This is Phoenix to San Antonio. When we fly out of Sacramento, we usually fly Southwest. Uh, Southwest is a little bit cheaper than most airlines. Uh, they do have an open seating policy, so there's no assigned seats. The trick with open seating is you need to book early bird for your whole party. And if you need a wider seat, sit to the front of the plane as the back of the plane, the seats are a little bit narrower. Let's sit back and enjoy this great takeoff.
One of my favorite things about flying Southwest Airlines is the flight attendants. They are wonderfully snarky and fun to fly with. have crossed over to Texas and will begin landing soon. Hello San Antonio. You look so nice from up in the sky. And we touched down in San Antonio. Not a very bumpy landing at all. The pilot did a really great job. It's nice to be home. Part two is next. Stay tuned.